We were talking the other day about a literal interpretation of, of the Bible uh, or interpreting it in terms of how God reveals God's self and how Jesus desires to call us into a relationship with him um, and how the Bible generally will, will teach that without necessarily being specifically literal, like every single um, part of, of the scripture uh, is absolutely literal. And, and actually, we could go to uh, chapter 5 of Matthew's Gospel and show how people actually don't take the Bible literally. It says there, if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. We do sin. I don't see a whole lot of people walking around plucking their eyes out or, or uh, cutting their, their arm off because they have sinned. So we don't take that literally because we recognize that, that Jesus in this gospel is using exaggeration to drive home a point about the seriousness of sin. So sometimes fundamentalists will um, say to Catholics, why do you call priests father? And uh, they say, quoting from Matthew chapter 23, where it says, um, as for you do not be called rabbi, you have but one teacher and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father, for you have but, you have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Messiah. So they say, obviously in the scripture, it says call no man father. And if that's the case, why do you call your priests father? You are going against the gospel. Again, we have to recognize that uh, the gospel message is also within a particular context. And here we have to recognize that Jesus is in the context of arguing about the scribes and the Pharisees um, having taken their seat, it says, on the chair of Moses, but do and observe all the things that they tell you, but not, do not follow their example, for they, for they preach, but they do not practice. One of the things that the Pharisees and scribes would do is they would build themselves up at the expense of other people. That's the context in which Jesus is speaking about master and rabbi and, and father. In other words, they can use those titles to help to raise themselves up at the expense of others. And that's what Jesus is arguing against, them using those titles in that particular way. In fact, if we were to take that literally, then we would have to say that there's got to be a problem with Paul because Paul in chapter 4 verses uh, 15, 14 through 17 refers to himself as a father, a spiritual father. He says, I am writing you this not to shame you but to admonish you as my beloved children. Even if you should have countless guides to Christ, yet you do not have many fathers. For I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Here he claims that word for himself to speak of how he is a spiritual guide, a spiritual father for um, his children, the Corinthians. So it would seem if you took this gospel literally, then even St. Paul is going against the gospel. And that's part of the difficulty too in taking out certain passages from the scripture without looking at the scriptures in their entirety. And sometimes we can pick and choose certain verses to help support an argument that we're trying to make when in fact that argument would fall if we were to quote another passage from scripture. What we have to be very careful of is taking the, the scriptures so literally without recognizing their context um, or without uh, recognizing other passages in the scripture that help to inform our interpretation of a specific passage.